Welcome back, witches. Happy almost Halloween. Today we are drinking tea and doing plant chores. That's hot. First things first, I already opened the moss pole a little bit just so we can see the instructions. They are minimal. I like that. I picked a couple of plants that I want to put on said moss poles. Um, I'm not sure exactly how big they're going to be, but I figured this size pot, six inch faux terracotta planter would probably be good enough. Um, I got this little kit off of Amazon. Yeah, comes wrapped up like this. <laughs> okay, and it comes with four plus some plant tape, which is cool. Never had that before. So obviously if you watch my channel at all, you probably watch Harley G, maybe Nick Pileggi, maybe Sydney Plant Guy, Yan. At the inspiration to try Moss Pole from Jan on Sydney Plant Guy, because his plants, oh my God. Um, if you, check out his Instagram posts. I have this feeling this is not gonna be as easy as I expected. Anyway, he makes his own moss poles. However, I'm paying the ADHD tax and I'm doing the most simple, she says that she struggles, the most simple version of a moss pole that requires purchasing the fewest amount of um, ingredients, if you will. It's just like dopamine. If you don't make your own, pre-made is fine. Or store-bought is fine, or whatever it is. Okay. This is not as easy as I was hoping but only because the plastic doesn't want to play nice. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna put them all in a little bit. Nope, that's not right. Yeah, I'm gonna put them all in a little bit and then force them shut. really did think this would be easier. did it. Well, I'm Remember how I said I read the instructions and it looked easy cuz there's only four steps? Well, I missed a step and that's probably why it was so damn hard. This step right here. Let me try again on number two. So basically you're supposed to fold it here, I guess. Yeah, I feel like just maybe this might have made process Easier, you know. Okay. Yeah. 
And that actually makes it flatter on the front too. You guys, what am I doing over here? <sighs> How many different ways can Alex pay ADHD tax? <laughs> get like a D shape and the front is flat as opposed to this one where it's round which I don't know this might work too but it's supposed to be flat so we're just gonna There's two. I'm not gonna commit to making more than that for the rest of the video because I don't know if I feel like it at the moment. Okay, glad I checked because I filmed most of that, not realizing you couldn't see very well what the heck. Well, you couldn't see my head. Not that that's really relevant, I guess. Anyway, we got some D-shaped moss poles. Now these are plastic and very staticky, which I'm not a fan of, but believe they will fit with plenty of room for a smallish plant and this is with it all the way down to the bottom here so that is plenty of room to grow and I don't even have to put it down that far although I would imagine it wouldn't be very secure if I didn't put it all the way down because I don't have anything to hold it down anyway Moving along. So the first pole that I'm going to give a moss pole. The first pole that I'm gonna give a moss pole to. Mm -hmm. That just happened. Um, first plant I'm gonna give a moss pole to is my sister's discolor. She does not know if she hates me or not, but she keeps losing leaves on the bottom here. I don't know why. And I saw a cissus on a moss pole at the nursery with my mom the other day and it looked so much better than mine. So I figured we'd give it a shot. I mean, it kind of already will be halfway up the moss pole. But I think up already um wow we said this is discolor first this is just a combination of some orchid potting mix and all-purpose potting mix um yeah Remember how we were making a moss pole? <gasps> well, apparently I made my sissus a little bit shorter ahead of time on accident.
just going to let some of the soil fill up in the moss pole. I don't think I need to do anything special to get it in there. Okay. gonna dump it straight in because this is already my soil mix. Well that's dead. I'm not very surprised that it's dead, but it's dead. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. I wanted these pots to be big enough that the pole would fit, but not so big that my plant would start getting oops, overwatered. You know, like a normal person. Um, okay. So I'm going to leave some room in the bottom here just because this plant wasn't doing very great in the first place. So. And then, I don't know if I should just wrap it all the way around. Yeah, that feels right. And I don't know if I can, nope, not like, okay. Kind of nice and tight ish. I guess it's more like nice and tight adjacent. And now we add the moss, I guess. I don't know, maybe I should have done this before I put the pole up. Okay. Squeeze the extra, excess moisture out of there. Okay. Yeah, this feels like maybe I shouldn't have done it this way moment. Okay. hopes is that 
we'll get some growth filling out down here in this area. Whoa, that is a little pop fifty. I'm going to do one more piece of the tape. This has turned into way more than I wanted to take on today, which is rad. I was hoping for just a fun little 20 minute project before I went to work. This is definitely not what we're achieving. Okay. Okay, top heavy moss pole number one done. <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna fit where it usually lives anymore. I'm gonna have to rearrange shit too. <sighs> Why did I do this today? I don't trust this thing to stay up by itself because it's so full of very wet moss. So we're going to hang it up real quick, uh, hang it up. We're going to make sure it's leaning against the wall is what I'm trying to say, which means this has to go somewhere else. Okay. Did I mention that I am now frustrated instead of having fun? And it's my own fault for not figuring this shit out ahead of time. <sighs> okay. So we're going to start... second moss pole, which do my varicosum probably shouldn't repot it so many times actually you know what no 
we're going to do the smart thing and do my silt pecana cuttings. Quite a few of these. And I know Monstera work well on moss poles. I just broke one though. I'm really. Wait, did I? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. <sighs> anyway. So. <gasps> okay. It's going to be fine. Oh, look, I found the other knife. Oh my god, my hands are so dirty. I don't mind having dirty hands, but I'm feeling the stress right now. I found the other knife I was looking for. women who don't need no help. We're just going to do it fast and then we shall rearrange as we see fit. Did I mention I'm frustrated? Again, I don't want to fill it up too much, especially since these are just little cuttings. I don't want to make the early stages of life too hard for them to get acclimated in here. Okay. So I was a little hydrophobic, apparently. Cool. So we're going to water this a little bit more and call it a day. Because now I'm super frustrated with it. 